Indonesia. Welcome back. So here we are up at the Gralock, a UCI gravel event, qualification for the Worlds and although I've not been well and I cancelled all my races, I kept this one in the diary. It's more of a family event, we're here uh, all weekend and uh, yeah, not really going to put myself in the locker racing. I am just here because Lisa and Riley are here. So yeah, try and get as much riding done and just enjoying it. So Friday, sign on, nice little shakeout ride, race tomorrow, and then maybe a nice chilled ride on Sunday too. So yeah, here we go. Good boys. Cheese. 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 Yeah, I don't. Call it a shakeout ride. Lisa's not quite learnt the uh, etiquette of social riding yet. She's got a nice new e-bike and she decides to stick it at 500 watts on every little climb. <sighs> she needs educating. <coughs> you know there's something wrong when I've got a when you've got to wait for me at the top of the climb. You winner. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> what are you doing? I was doing the gravel race in France a week or so ago. I destroyed a rear tire. Right. At least I've got a beautiful walk back. As you can see, I'm walking, I've been walking for about half an hour and I've probably got another half an hour of walking in carbon shoes. My ankles are absolutely killing me. But um, yeah, blown both tires uh, on the descent, which wasn't an issue, like plugged, a um, couple of the boys helped, stopped. But as we was doing it, we've seen uh, whatever we've hit that hard has cracked the frame. So yeah, we've not got a bike. Bikes, bikes left the chat. So we're gonna uh, walk back, wrap my ankles off, try and source a new bike for tomorrow. And at the same time, let's hope the insurance look after us and, um, and get us a new bike. Um, at least it's sunny. Ah well, it's a nice walk. Views look pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's all part of it, I guess. Right, okay, so I'm back home on the Sunday after the Grand Lock and I thought I'd show you the bike. I didn't get much footage of the bike because, yeah, I was holding the bike in one hand and trying to walk 10k. Um, so it was the last thing on my mind, to be honest. Um, but yeah, like, whatever's happened, blown the rear tyre, blown the front tyre, both rims I think have been impacted too. But the, yeah, the main one is this here. Um, I don't really want to, but I could if I wanted to. I could, I could finish that off just with just with my fingers, like it is fully snapped, which is not good. So I'm, um, I'm pretty confident. Like I'm in short with bike mode, they'll sort me out. But um, yeah, I'll be getting in touch with BMC as well. Just yeah, something like that shouldn't be happening in, in my opinion. So yeah, I thought I'd uh, thought I'd show you that. Thank you very much to my friend Michael. He sorted me out with a bike that was absolutely fantastic. So yeah, let's crack on with the video. Okay, <clears throat> we've managed to source a bike. It's my bike is absolutely knackered. It's um, yeah, it's it's come to the end of its life. <laughs> We're uh, so that's. Something to sort another day. We'll sort it on Monday, get in touch with the insurance. A good friend of mine, Michael, has lent me his beautiful bike. He obviously trusts my biking ability far more than I do. Um, it is a size too big for me, but it's what we've got. At least we can still participate in the event. Um, it's an S-Works Diverge. Yeah. It's got like suspension everywhere and stuff like that. It's got wider tires. Um, 
It's a bit big for me, but I will get on it, pedal hard, pedal fast, see what happens. So yeah, oh, it's got storage inside the frame too. I'm gonna fill it with like Snuggles. 500 plugs. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite late. We had to go to Penrith and, uh, and pick the bike up. Time to get some sleep, prep the kit. So what's the plan? I've prepared 500 grams of carbs. Yeah. And if I feel good, I'm going full gas. But what from what I've learned today, right, is... <laughs> what I've learned today is... If you don't ride full gas, it works in your advantage. It why? Because send it down the tank, get a puncher, waste 20 minutes. I'll come flying past it, nice and steady. Well, everyone's fixing punches. Four right. hours later, Sean's won. You're gonna win. Probably not win, but. <laughs> Five minutes later. We have to double press it. Great day. That was actually the day before where we all got punches. But going into the race, first climb, absolute bananas. Made the second group on the road. There's about 20 guys up the road. Uh, I was sitting in the second group where there was about another 20 guys. We was working well, we was chasing, and yeah, about two hours into the race, feeling good, feeling super strong, certainly in a position of qualifying, but I punctured. So um, yeah, what was it? Went to plug it, just couldn't find no sealant, couldn't find a hole, and yeah, turns out there was no sealant in the tire. So it was a case of, Pump the tire up, ride 20 minutes, stop, pump the tire up, ride for 20 minutes. Um, yeah, got quite frustrating and tedious, but that was that um, yeah, that was my race done. I was um I just had to let the race go. Yeah, it is what it is, that's part of the gravel, that's part of racing. But I can take away a lot of positives. I mean, I got to ride in the event after breaking my bike and um, that was hands down the best race I've ever participated in. Just the whole scene, the whole vibe, people are nice, people are friendly, everyone's there to help each other out and uh, I will certainly 100% be doing lots more gravel racing in my calendar. So here's the footage, hope you enjoy. <laughs>
okay, race done. Good day, but bad day. Uh, good day, because I, I really enjoyed it. Probably the best four hours of racing I've done, just because of, yeah, just because of the vibe. Bad because I punctured. Unfortunately, the bike I borrowed <laughs> had no sealant in. So after checkpoint two, in fact, no, before checkpoint two, I got a puncher <clears throat> and yeah, it was pump it up, ride it for 10 minutes, pump it up, chase back on, stop, pump it up, chase back on. And I did that for about an hour and a half, which, which got real frustrating. Yeah, at the third feed station, I managed to put some sealant in and, um, and well, mainly just nurse it back home. So yeah not the i mean i definitely i wasn't coming for a result anyway um i'm just happy that i got to ride the event after absolutely ruining the bike yesterday um and yeah time to we was going to go to the event to get some dancing. music and dancing done but it was raining so we've come about an hour away where it's not raining and now stink's going to play on the park Count, count. Go! 